What is happening guys? Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. Some recent discoveries have us excited about the future. Like VR for example, that's insane, that's only gonna get better. 2020 marked the 30th anniversary for the Hubble telescope and humans have been aboard the ISS for 20 years now. Comet Neowise also came by to say hello. Amazing things happening, amazing discoveries. But what discoveries are actually concerning? Are we screwed? I feel like we're screwed. I'm Taylor McWaters and here are the top 10 discoveries that could end the world. Let's get bummed out. Kicking off the list at number 10, Particle Accelerator. We love science experiments, baking soda and vinegar, a DIY volcano, boom, let's make a mess. But what if we flew too close to the sun? What if one experiment could, I don't know, hypothetically swallow our known universe? Sounds fun, let's do it. Sir Martin Rees, Britain's royal astronomer, shines some light on a dark possibility in his book, On the Future. The particle accelerator is this massive machine that does exactly that. It smashes these charged particles together at a high speed, all in the name of science. Now we're trying to further understand condensed matter physics, and while it sure sounds impressive, what if it goes south? What if somebody fucks up? Well, if that happens, it could possibly destroy our known universe. Apparently, these particles smashing together could create this strange matter that shrinks Earth down to 300 feet in diameter, so we'd be tiny or dead. Either way, we'd be like, oh shit. Or it creates a black hole that would suck away our entire existence. Thanks, Martin. Now we'll be able to sleep because I'm thinking of particle colliders. Freddy Krueger and also particle colliders. I'm like, Ugh. This holiday season sucks, can't sleep. Number nine, black holes. Christopher Nolan can't even save us from this one. There are three types of black holes. We got stellar, supermassive, and intermediate mass. And they can all kill us easily if they wanted to. Black holes are formed when a star dies. And in turn, we get the strongest Dyson vacuum ever. It sucks in light, so of course we wouldn't make it. There's no chance. There's about 10 million black holes in the Milky Way right now. And the closest one is about 1,500 light years away. So we're looking good for now. We actually got a photo of a black hole not too long ago. It's beautiful. We're learning more and more every year. And one of the scariest facts that I heard was that black holes will be the last thing in the known universe and these things orbit as well they don't just sit in the same spot like everything else in the galaxy black holes are also moving around which means one will eventually get close do you think they would tell us if a black hole was about to swallow us i sure hope not i mean no spoilers come on i'm only on season 27 of my life keep it real number eight solar flares solar flares just sound scary you know our star heats up, we literally revolve around it, and it blesses us with life and tan lines and all the good stuff, but sometimes she acts up. Sometimes she creates these powerful magnetic fields that create sunspots larger than our planet. This then creates a stream of radiation, it's called solar wind. Now normally this is a beautiful event. The northern lights happen because of Earth's magnetic field reacting to this radiation. But too much of a good thing can be disastrous. This month even, on October 9th, a large solar flare was spotted, and three days later, it hit. The geomagnetic storm reached category G2, which out of five is still quite strong. The biggest solar event was actually back in 1859. It's called the Carrington event. It was strong enough to disrupt telegraph communications, even shocking some telegraph operators. Imagine that, if this happens again and it's stronger, we're looking at power outages on a massive scale. You'd be playing VR and then all of a sudden your eyes are like, poof, it just explode. Lovely, immersive. 10 out of 10. Number seven, moving stars. We look at the pyramids of Egypt in awe for many reasons, but as far as placement goes, these three pyramids align with the stars of Orion's belt. But what happens when these stars, like everything else in our known universe, moves? The pyramids won't align with stars forever. They will wander, but which direction will these stars go? That's the, that's the question here. Well, right now, our sun is traveling through the Milky Way. It's carrying us along. We're in this moderately chill space bubble right now, but when we leave this region, say in, I don't know, 50,000 years, we have a great chance of bumping into one of these wandering stars. Do you think our climate is changing now? Well, you better learn how to be immortal and hang out for 50,000 years. Be a vampire and you'll see what a comet looks like up close. It's very cold and hot at the same time. We're not going to survive. We have like 20 years left, realistically. Number six, artificial intelligence. Okay, this one sounds silly, but we're actually quite close to getting Ultron in real life. God help us. We have robots that do parkour now. Like you can push these things, they would still continue to silly walk. Have you seen those videos where they get pushed and they're like bleep and they keep going? That's crazy. Now imagine if Siri decided to go rogue one day and then take over the body of one of the Boston Dynamic robots. We're fucked. it's game over, that's it. I've seen iRobot, I don't want any part of this. No thank you. According to CB Insights where they asked 52 experts, 
52, so specific. They all agreed that AI will eventually be our downfall, and by that time, it's too late. I'm sweating reading that, what? The late Stephen Hawking said AI would be impossible to control. Elon Musk has been reinforcing how crucial it is to regulate AI. We can't regulate technology that we can't predict. That's the main thing here. Even Vladimir Putin says AI will have a profound impact on global politics. And are we really going to disagree with Vladimir Putin? No, no we're not. Next. Number five, asteroid impact. Number five, asteroid impact. Of course, one of our leading theories as to how humans can all of a sudden go extinct is an asteroid. We've seen movies. These suckers have caused large scale extinction events before us. Every time there's a meteor shower, people think it's beautiful, when in reality, it's like sitting near first and third base at a baseball game. It's flying at you nonstop, like we're way too close. Every meteor shower, I'm just like, if one of these days an asteroid got too close, it would pretty much mean the end of humanity, regardless of where it hits on Earth. In fact, an asteroid named Apophis is set to slam into us in 100 years or so. Now, we originally thought that it would hit in 2029, but now we can add 100 years on top of that. It's a big orbit. So we're okay for now. For your grandkids, though, heads up Whoville. Good luck. Number four. Global warming. Okay, this one's, uh, this one's on us, folks. Or at least a little bit. We're for sure to blame in some capacity. Now I'm trying to fight it. Around 90% of scientists say that humans are to blame for global warming, especially people who vape. That's what they said. I read it myself. It's, I'm not making that up. According to climate.gov, we're cooking our planet with heat trapping gases. Greenhouse gases in the atmosphere equals heat. Our global average temperature has gone up 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit since the late 90s. Carbon dioxide, methane, ozone, nitrous, and numerous chlorofluorocarbons which is fun to say, chlorofluorocarbons. Nice, more like borofluorocarbons. Billy Madison reference, stop littering. Next. Number three, Yellowstone National Park. Nothing like a big old volcano to shake up your day. The super volcano rumbling under Yellowstone National Park could wipe out millions if it decided to go off one day. It's exploded three times in the past. Two million years ago, pop. 1.3 million years ago, pop, and then 664,000 years ago, boom. The next one, well, it could happen as soon as you click like and subscribe. <laughs> How scary is that? Back in 2014, a team of researchers laid out what an erupting Yellowstone could actually look like in real life, and it's terrifying. It's massive. Entire states would be gone, poof. Hot magma would then rain down as far as San Francisco, and on top of all that chaos, volcanic ash would cover most of our sunlight. It would be a dark and cold world for a little while. They, of course, had a Yellowstone scene in the movie 2012, and while sure, it's cinematic, I guess, it would be a lot louder and way faster. You can't check your rearview mirrors while Yellowstone is blasting off. I'm, I'm sorry, folks, this, you just can't do this. Number two, expanding sun. Our sun isn't strong enough to create a black hole after its death, which is a nice thought after hearing about black holes, you know, sucking at light and your hopes and dreams. This is good news, but we do know that our sun will eventually die and it's set to happen in about, drum roll, seven billion years, so plenty of time to get that tan at the water park. We're still looking all right. It'll eventually become a white dwarf though, just floating in the cosmos. Now we won't get to see this, of course, because we'll be long gone, but if anybody is still hanging out by then, just, you know, still kicking it, still healing around, they'll unfortunately witness the sun get larger and cooler. It's predicted that it'll suck in Venus and Mercury, but as for Earth, well, solar winds generated would hypothetically be strong enough to slow Earth down. So we wouldn't get sucked into the sun, we would instead face a slow, hot death. And you thought it was hot outside now. Well, hang out for a bit. <laughs> well, it's pretty bad, but it'll get worse. And finally, number one, nuclear weapons. In 1938, history changed forever when German nuclear physicist Otto Hahn Fritz Strassmann and Lise Meitner discovered nuclear fission in a lab in Berlin. They discovered that an atom splitting into lighter atoms caused a powerful blast. This was groundbreaking. Humans discovered a new way to power technology, but at the same time, they opened the door for nuclear horrors atomic bombs. On July 16th, 1945, the Trinity test was conducted. The first atomic bomb was detonated in a New Mexico desert. It was deemed a success with mushroom clouds reaching up to 40,000 feet high. This test changed history forever. Roughly 110,000 lives were later lost at Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and many believe that nuclear warfare will truly be the end of humanity. The pure impact alone is one thing, but nuclear winters, where clouds of dust and black smoke just block out the sun for days at a time, could obviously have lasting effects. For example, if there was an all-out nuclear war between Russia and the United States, officials predict that 
temperatures would drop eight degrees for five or six years. So we wouldn't even be able to grow food at that time. It would be absolute chaos. Stop bobbing each other. Guys, that was quite a haunting list, so thank you for sticking around until the very end. If for some reason you want to hear even more ways about how we'll one day perish, let us know in the comments and a part two will arrive. I've been your host, Taylor McWaters. Keep on being you, and we'll see you next time on Most Amazing Top 10. Peace. Solar, oh okay, here. Out of your train, beat it. Polar Express, 6.30, it's sip time. Look at that. Our son isn't as strong. Our son isn't strong enough to. My son, he's not strong.